Mandy Fruity, a Mandy. <laughs> oh my god, that's so weird. Like, three out of the four books had characters named Henry. Coincidence? <laughs> Jay and today I am here with a unboxing video. I came home and there was a package waiting for me from HarperCollins. They recently like reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to read a couple of their books for review so obviously I said heck yes. So without further ado let us get started. We're going to open this package. I think there's like four. Yeah there's four books in here so I'm very excited. First book I am so excited about because I've heard so many great things about it already, and it, and it is Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. This book follows Ane, who was raised as a proper young lady. One day her mom goes missing, and her trail leads her to New Rayens, which is also called the City of Sins, and everybody who goes there never leaves uncorrupted. So she arrives there, and she meets a man named Levi, who ends up being a con man, and she asks for his help, but he's in the middle of an investment scam. But she offers him a large compensation, and he ends up agreeing to help her find her mom. On their search for Anae's mother, it leads them into the den of a mafia donna. Anae ends up finding out a big secret about her past. His enemies end up catching up to him, and force him to play a game of execution where the players always lose, but in order to save Levi, Anae decides that she is going to play instead. I've just been hearing like amazing things about this book. Everyone who's actually had the opportunity to read it has loved it so far, so I'm so excited to read it. I'm definitely going to read it like next after Zenith. Stay tuned for that review on my channel soon supposed to be releasing on April 10th, 2018, so definitely check it out once it hits the shelves. The next book that they sent me was Shadow Girl by Leanna Liu. This book follows a woman named Mai who is hired to work at a mansion to be a tutor for a young girl named Ella. When she arrives, she quickly discovers that this family has a lot of problems. She tries to focus on her duties, but she becomes quickly distracted by Ella's brother Henry, as well as the mystery surrounding the house. At night she hears a lot of thumps and bumps and cries and this starts to make her a little bit paranoid. She doesn't really believe in ghosts but she starts to feel a little uneasy with everything going on and it's basically the story of the mystery of the house so it sounds really intriguing. I'm hoping that it's going to be like a super cool thriller. Because you know your girl loves herself some thrillers. This is supposed to be coming out in December 2017 so I'm not 100% sure on the actual date but this month sometime. The next book that I have is called Past Tense by Star Spider. And I would just like to say that that name is so cool. This book follows Julie who is in love with her best friend Lorelai ever since they met in third grade. Lorelai doesn't actually know that Julie is in love with her. She's too busy trying to set Julie up with her ex boyfriend Henry. Things get more complicated when one day Julie arrives home from school and her mother tells her that her heart is gone and it becomes evident that she actually believes that she's dead. The book sounds really interesting, also kind of confusing, but I was super intrigued by it. I feel like it's going to be really interesting, so I'm kind of excited to get to it. The final book that I have is The Art of Blending In by Angelo Sermelis, and this book actually sounds so good. It's based off of the author's childhood, so I think that it's going to be pretty cool. The book follows 17-year-old Evan, who lives in a very strict family. His mother is an immigrant from Greece, and his father likes to avoid conflict at all costs. His best friend Henry has become very attractive over the summer and it's starting to make Evan realize that he might want to be more than friends. Henry is also showing some interest in Evan and he begins to make Evan realize that he deserves more than his mother's harsh words and abuse. Things with Henry start to heat up and Evan has to decide how he's going to start standing up for himself in a world where he is so used to being silent. As I said, it's apparently based off of the the author's childhood, so I think that it's going to be really interesting to read. This is supposed to come out January 2018, so check it out. I haven't really heard anything about it, but I'm very excited about it. Alright guys, so that was my quick HarperCollins unboxing video. I want to say thank you so much to HarperCollins for sending me these books. I'm so excited to get to them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!